the face of what appears to be defeat. The Lord has given us the victory. Listen, some trust in chariots and some trust in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord, for the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous can run in and are safe. This is the sound of victory. This is the sound of victory. This is a victory. This is a victory. Where we're walking and we're talking and we're living. Yes, Lord. <laughs> victory. Nothing. Come on, let's say it again. Put your hands together. Ow! Wherever you are, you can clap your hands. A victory. This is a victory. And we're walking, talking, and we're living in victory. Victory. Walking. We want to welcome you to the hour of victory with Lead Pastor Y.D. Thorogood, where we are two churches united in worship. The New Jerusalem Church, 118 Bishop Thorogood Avenue, and the city of Virginia Beach, and the Church of the Advent. 1097 Bellsmere Road, Chesapeake, Virginia. We want you to join us each and every Sunday as we have e-worship at 11 a.m. on Facebook and YouTube and every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. for pastoral teaching and worship on Facebook and YouTube. Come on and put your hands together. Come on, tenors. Come on, clap your hands. Hey. Second tenor. Hey, if you got it, you can sing it with us. Come on, Alto. If you got it, clap your hands. Where we are. Come on, Soprano. I feel it moving. Hey, from glory to glory. Come on, say it again. Hey, speak it and declare it. Walk in it. Live in it. Oh, I got it. Yes, I got it. Yes, I got it. Yes, I got it. He gave it to me. Yes, I got it. I'm walking in it. Yes, I got it. Yes, I got it. Yes, I got it. He gave it to me. Yes, I got it. He gave me joy in the time of sorrow. He gave me hope. Hope for my tomorrow. Yes, I got it. Yes, I got it. Yes, I got it. Yes, I got it. Lift him up. Praise his name. Yes, I got it. Yes, I got it. He picked me up. Turn me around. Place my feet on the solid ground. Yes, I got it. Yes, I got it. Yes, I got it. Yes, I got it. I'm walking. Walking. And I'm talking. And I'm walking, talking, living in victory. Nothing but victory. I've got the victory. Come on and clap your hands for Pastor Philip Moore. O oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. From the ends of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. As we assemble ourselves for prayer, grab your family members and your friends and let's set our mind toward the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, dear Lord, for allowing, allowing us to see a brand new day. Thank you for your mercy that kept us throughout the night. We pray, God, that in this moment of worship and word that you would have your way, that you would meet the needs of those who are depressed, who are in trouble, who are sick and in need of healing. We know that you're the Lord our God that healeth us of all of our infirmities. Stretch out your hand of healing today. Stretch out your hand of deliverance, Lord. 
Loose the bound, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, bring joy to those that are in sorrow. Oh God, bring hope for those that are hopeless. And we who love you will praise you. We'll give you the glory. It all belongs to you. Bless our pastor and those who declare the word. Let your spirit have free course. We thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Psalm 24, a psalm of David. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend unto the hill of the Lord or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart who have not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Come on, let's clap our hands and give God the praise. Hallelujah. The Hour of Victory singers are coming, led by Minister Josh Johnson. Following their selection, we're going to hear a word from the Lord. I present to you, introduced to many others, our lead pastor, our shepherd, a man of faith, victory, substance, and power. Lead Pastor Dr. Y.D. Thoroughgood. Receive him following this election for the Word of God. Everybody, clap your hands. Yeah. Come on, song, sis. 
Lord, prepare me be a sanctuary, pure and holy, right and true, and with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary. Come on, sing for you. Come on, sing, Lord, be free me. To be a sanctuary. I'll be sanctuary for you. Oh, sing, Lord. Come on, sing, fear and holy, tried and true, and with sanctuary. For you, come on, let's lift our hands and say yes to the Lord. Come on, sing yes, yes, sing yes, yes, yes. Come on, take it up, say yes, yes. on it right there. Hey, fear and holy, tried and true, and with, I'll be sanctuary for you. Say, everybody, clap your hands. Yeah. Come on, let's just declare this in the house. Come on, everybody say, say, mold me. Mold me. What you want me to be? What you want me to be? Say, mold me. Mold me. What you want me to be? Say, make me. What you want me to be? Make me. What you want me to be? Oh, say, I'll do. What you want me to do? I'll do what you want me to say. I'll say what you want me to say. I'll say what you want me to say. Everybody clap your hand. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Everybody clap your hand. Yeah. Come on from the top. Come on, sing. Lord, prepare me. Lord, to be a saint. Pure and holy. Tried and true. And I'll be sanctuary. Oh, come on. Everybody cut your hands. Hey. Come on, y'all say this. Say, say, mold me. What you want me to be? Mold me. What you want me to be? Say, I'll do. What you want me to do? I'll do. What you want me to do? Oh, say, I'll go. Where you want me to go? I'll go, I'll go where you want me to go. Hey, say I'll be, I'll be what you want me to be. Say I'll be, I'll be what you want me to be. Say everybody come. Go. Yeah. Hey, everybody clap your hands. Come from the top, sing, Lord, prepare me to be a saint, pure and holy, tried and true, and with, I'll be, 
sanctuary. For you, for you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in via live stream. For this is the day that the Lord has made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Anybody glad to be in the house of the Lord? We're glad that you're viewing via live stream. And we are here today with the Hour of Victory broadcast. If you could join me in prayer. Kind and gracious Father, we thank you for this time. For your love is better than life itself. Father, we pray that you'll speak a word to your people right now. A word that would encourage their souls. Father, hide me behind the radiuses of Calvary's cross so there'll be less of me and more of thee. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. And amen. God bless you and welcome to the Hour of Victory broadcast. We pray that we may say something or you may hear something that may encourage you on this morning. Uh, we are here in the sanctuary here at Church of the Advent. We want to welcome the New Jerusalem Church and the Church of the Advent who are here viewing via live stream. Amen. We thank God for Pastor Patrick Riddick and the Hour of Victory singers who have come for Pastor Philip Moore. Amen. And for those who have come and for the singers, the ministers who have come to invoke the presence of the Lord, we will not be before you long, but we want to encourage you during this time to let you know that God is a good God, even in bad times. Amen. We're going to go quickly to the words. Those of you who have your Bibles, you will turn with me to Philippians, the third chapter. And I'll be reading verses 12 through 14, a very familiar passage of scripture. You can either turn with me on your mobile devices or you could just listen to the word as we read. And it reads thusly, not as though I already attained, either were already perfect. But I follow after if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do. Forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth into those things which are before, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Why don't you pat yourself on the chest wherever you are and say, I'm in this to win this. Say it one more time. Say, I'm in this to win this. Saints and friends, please hear me when I tell you there are many who have given their lives to the Lord. They've seen God work on their behalf. They've survived rough times. And just as they gain sight of the finish line, they grow weary and they quit the race. See, oftentimes many quit right before they gain the victory because the adversary will always turn up the heat when you're in position for promise. Anybody believe that today? See, my father used to tell me in reference to the children of Israel that out of the 40 years in the wilderness and the seven days of marching around the wall, it wasn't until they got in the promise that they had to fight for what belonged to them. See, please understand, you've been marked for a higher calling. Yes, you. You've been marked for a higher calling in Christ Jesus. And the enemy is fighting you on every hand because you're in the vicinity of victory. You ought to encourage yourself and say, I'm in the vicinity of victory. See, the enemy does not fight those who are complacent, and I'm preaching to myself. If you're not a threat, he will not bother you. But the adversary is an accuser of the brethren, which references those who are in Christ Jesus, and he will only oppose those who have purpose, and his assignment is to destroy divine destiny. In our text, Paul is writing a letter to the Christians of Philippi, and while he's thanking them for their support during this time of need, he's encouraging them to press on and stay in the race. I want to encourage someone today who's watching, somebody who may be looking at what's going on in the news. I want to encourage you, don't give up. Yes, we have to pay attention to our streaming and pay attention to those who are coming to give us information. But whatever you do, don't give up on God. You have to fight and stay in the race. After receiving reports that some from the 10-year-old church had become discouraged through their sufferings, Paul subsequently lets them know that happiness depends on happenings. But true joy depends on Christ. It's in this letter that Paul encourages the church by letting them know that he who began a good work in you will carry it out until it is completed. Now I can shut down my device right there. You ought to get the joy of the Lord in your room right there because God will perfect that which concerns you. God will take care of you. He will provide for you. He will make ways for you in this time. You may be in a rough spot right now concerned about the pandemic and all of the chaos that's going on worldwide, and it seems that our nation is falling apart, but you ought to encourage yourself and say, I'm so glad that God will perfect that, which concerns me. Let me move on. In this letter, Paul encourages Philippi while instructing them on how to run this race, and what we must realize is that while running any race, our eyes must stay maintained and stay fixed for it and focused on our goals. 
You cannot progress forward while looking around and being distracted. And I've come to find out that one of the, the strategies of the enemy is this. He will hinder your foresight by making you go backwards. The enemy will distract that which he cannot destroy. The enemy will try his best in times like these to bring distractions to your mind and to pull you away from your assignment. After receiving reports that some from the 10-year-old church have become discouraged through their sufferings, Paul subsequently lets them know that happiness depends on happenings, but the true joy depends on Christ. In this letter, Paul encourages the church by letting them know that he who has begun a good work in you will carry it out until it is completed. Because this brings confirmation and echoes the 138 number of Psalms when David wrote that the Lord will perfect that which concerns me. Saints, you may be in a tough spot right now. You may be concerned with all that you're hearing on the news and all that's here coming on live stream. But I come to tell you in times like these, you can put your trust in God. Let me move on in this letter. Paul encourages Philippi while instructing them on how to run this race. And what we must realize is that while running any race, our, eye must, our eyes must remain fixed forward and focused on our goals. You cannot progress forward while looking around and being distracted. And I've come to find out one of the strategies of the enemy is that he will use distractors to hinder our mind to take us back from where we came. The enemy brings distractions to knock us off course. And one thing that he will do is what he cannot destroy, he will distract. Satan's best fight against your mind is he'll try to bring things in your mind to cause you to lose faith and to concentrate on fear. He'll try his best to make you think that God has forsaken you. He'll make you feel that you were better off before you met God. And before you know it, you'll find yourself developing an old appetite in a new season. Can I go a little deeper? The enemy is a master of seizing the mind and trapping the soul. Paul says in Romans 7 and 25 that it is with the mind that we serve God's law. This is why the enemy attacks our thought process because it can distract you and take your mind backwards. He, we have to understand that your thoughts determine your attitudes, saints. Your attitudes determine your actions. And your actions determine your outcomes. And your outcome can reroute your destiny. If you look at the story of the prodigal son, I personally believe the son left his father's covering mentally first. And by the time he left physically, his body was only following where his mind had gone. This is why the saints of old used to pray, Lord, keep my mind. Keep my mind stayed on you. See, the Lord will keep you in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. See, Paul was a man who had a past, and that's why he knew the importance of resetting and renewing the mind to the point where he tells the Philippians, I may not know everything, but this one thing I know. He said, in order to reach my goal, in order to reach my future, I must set aside all distractions and fix my focus on God. Saints in this season, I don't care how convincing the enemy sounds. You have to shed yourself of distractions before you shift. In order to get where you have to be, you got to learn how to let some things and people go in your life. I could put a pen right there because they're hindering your development. And through hindering your development, you could delay your destiny. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but in 2020, you're going to have to say goodbye to some folks. You're going to have to say goodbye to some forces that are in your ear. you got to tell them, if you're not going my way, just leave me alone because I'm in this thing to win this thing. I've asked the Lord this year, Lord, give me, don't give me clear vision or 2020 vision, but give me black and white vision. Show me who is for you and who is not. That's all I need to see in this season. Lord, who is on your side and who is not? If you're hot or cold, you're right or you're left. If you're not involved in God's will for my life, you can hit the door. Watch your pet yourself and say, I'm running to win this thing. As I come to my close, Paul lets them know, brethren, I do not claim to know it all, but this one thing I do. He said, I'm forgetting what's behind me. He said, I'm leaving my past in the past. He said, and I'm reaching before me. He said, I press. And when I looked up how Paul uses the word press, it's interpreted as a runner who is striving with all his being to reach the finish line. Saints, we have to be we have to be careful and we cannot be consumed with what the enemy is telling us, but we must be consumed and obsessed with reaching our goal that we lay aside every weight that will hinder us from moving forward. And we have to declare that I'm in this race to win this race. I will let nothing stop me. I will let nothing block me. I will let nothing hinder me. But I'm pressing toward the mark. 
for the prize of the high calling. Pat yourself on the chest and say, I'm in this thing to win this thing. I've got to close, but I've come to find out that in this race, you'll have some heartaches. And in this race, you will have some heartbreaks. There will be setbacks. There will be setups. But come what may, like the songwriter said, I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining every day. Still praying as I'm onward bound. You ought to say, Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Through your sickness, you got to press on. Through what you hear, you got to press on. Through what you're witnessing, you got to press on. Through all my disappointments, I'm going to press on. Pat yourself one more time. Encourage yourself. Pull yourself together. Pull yourself up by the bootstraps and say, I need this thing to win this thing. I've come too far to turn back now. With God before me, you can be a me. Why don't you give the Lord praise now? If you know you're in this thing to win this thing, give God the praise. Thank you for keeping you. I've got to made up my the cross before me, the world behind me. No turning back. No turning back. See ya. Come on, watch you tell yourself I'm in it to win it. I see what they're saying on the news, but I'm not giving up. I see what they're saying on social media, but I'm not giving up. I see what the world is saying, but I'm running up to God. I'm looking up to Jesus, the author and the finisher of my faith. I need it to win it. Say it. Listen, no matter what comes, no matter what happens, you got to be determined that you're going to run all the way. You got to be determined to run all the way. Back in the day, the old saints used to sing, all the way. All the way. All the way. Hallelujah. All the way. All the way. All the way. Come on, help me sing it. All the way. Right where you are, help us sing it. All the way. Yes, Lord. All the way. Hallelujah. All the way. Yes, Lord. All the way. Woo. All the way. I won't turn back. God has brought me too far. I won't turn back. I won't turn back. Oh, I won't turn back. I won't turn back. Oh, I won't turn back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going all the way. I'm going all the way. It may cost me my life, but I'm going all the way. Hallelujah. We want to take this time to look unto God. We want to pray for you. Those of you who are being viewing via YouTube or Facebook Live, live stream, however you're viewing this broadcast, we want to pray with you and for you. We want you to connect with us and come to faith today. God is able to do exceeding and abundantly above all we can ever ask or think, but it's according to the power that worketh in you. At this moment, at this time, right now, connect with us and let your faith touch God. Grab hold of faith and know that God is able to deliver. Don't you give up. There's so many distractions. While we can't meet in one building at this time, we can still meet online. The enemy will use this as a source to speak to your mind as a distraction. But just remember, we are in this thing to win this thing. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. We want to pray with you right now as the musicians are playing something soft. Father, we thank you for this time. Father, we pray that your will would be done in the, in the earth. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Father, we pray that you'll make provisions for those who are suffering, for those who are sick, for those who are plagued with diseases. Stretch out your hand and send forth your healing virtue now. Touch, deliver, make whole, and set free. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Father, we know you're able to bring a cure within the earth. We know you're able to steal the hands of devil. We put our trust and faith in you because we know you're able to do all things. Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you now that our faith is looking up to you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.
And amen. This time, the singers are going to minister to you, and I pray that you'll grab hold of faith at this time. No matter what the problem, yes, God. you can't solve them. Thank you, Jesus. They will come, but don't you worry. It will work out. For the good of them who loves the Lord. Oh, no matter, no matter. I came to tell you that you can't solve them. They will come, they will come, but don't you, don't you worry, hey, hey, it will, for the good of the poor, love the Lord, the Lord, we're going to say that one more time. Want you to make a point of contact wherever you are and pray for somebody. Oh, no matter. If it's issues of finances, you can't solve it. Yeah. They will come. But don't. Don't you worry. It will work out. Now we can say that if you hold on to his hands. Oh, it's real. If you trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Yeah. Oh, it's real. For the good of them who love the Lord, the Lord. Who loves the Lord, who loves the Lord, who loves the Lord, yeah. If you love him, hallelujah. Come on, let's worship God wherever you are. Things will work out for the good of them who love the Lord. Why don't you give God a praise? Because you know he's working it out in your favor, in your favor. Amen. Right now, we want to challenge those of you who are watching online, those of you who are looking at this recording. Right now, we're posting on the screens uh, our, our ways of giving, our avenues of giving online. We're going to ask you to sow so into the ministry here at Church of the Advent. This is our year of the recharge. See, we've been getting some much-needed rest during this time where people say of oppression. Like David said, sometimes he has to make you lie down in green passages. And that also in New Jerusalem, it's the year of freedom and healing. And we are celebrating our 50th year Jubilee. And we're asking that you would sow into these two great ministries. If you are members, you have the information on the screen at this time. If you are not, please feel free to join us in our time of giving. Come join us as we worship the Lord through giving at this time. Amen. The praise team is coming at this time to take us out. God bless you. Remember, this is an hour of victory. And we thank God for you coming and joining in with us in worship today. God bless you. Remember, God is in control. Amen. Bless you. Come on, put your hands together. I'll say yes to my Lord. I'll say yes.